Good afternoon from Sharjah and here we are for the big match, the big game, the final between Afghanistan and Zimbabwe. And they're all two games each, so whoever wins, wins the trophy. The Afghanistan is a little bit desperate for a victory now. You can tell a couple of changes. They're trying to get a winning formula and maybe today might be the day for them. Exactly. One just hopes that they don't bring in too many shuffles in the, in the batting order. And where the fifth and final one day international between Afghanistan and Zimbabwe is about to uh, start. Chibaba will be opening the batting for Zimbabwe, who was the man of the match in that last game. Tremendous all-round performance. And with him, of course, the um, very, very fast-scoring, hard-hitting Peter Moore. He hasn't played uh, too many games, just seven matches, but great potential, great promise. And uh, this is an important uh, opening combination for Zimbabwe. So we're ready for the first ball. Hamza coming in. And asking the question, that's the angle we've been talking about. The one that he brings in with the arm. This goes wide to the crease, looks to try and bring it back. Right away goes for that ball of full length, which allows Chibaba to get off the mark. Just pushing it in that gap at extra cover. So Zimbabwe are on their way. Oh, no movement of the feet. That's where the problem was. Again, just a play and a miss. He seemed to be a little bit unsettled more. That's out. That is out. That's the one that he does so well. The one that he brings in with the arm. And that opening partnership Zimbabwe was looking for. He's not here in his deciding game. Hurrying on and finding him in front. Losing their first wicket. Chibaba out for one. It's one for one. Zimbabwe got off to a bad start. One for one. Masakadza. He's been one of their better batsmen in this series. But still a disappointing average for somebody batting at number three. That's down the leg side. But again, you could see the angle that brings it, brings the ball in to the right-hander. Oh, this is Apish. Rather firm-footed. Again, no movement of that front foot. It's better. That's a much better-looking shot. Straight to the fielder. But that sound of leather on below tells you that it came off the sweet spot. Nicely driven. Pass mid on. Great timing. Again, you could see, I get the feeling that Zadran is looking for some outswing from that area, from around midland leg. And that's why he seemed to be looking to bowl more wicket to wicket. Just caught across and he drove it in the gap between the bowler and mid on. How well timed that was. Just raced away to the boundary. Through the covers, nicely driven by Masakadza. Might go all the way, in fact, it does. The timing was good. Loves the fast bowlers again. Very comfortable against pace. It's been pitched up. Good balance. This time, swung away on the leg side. There is a man on the boundary at backward square. Like he loves the batsman to come back for two. Whipped off his uh, hips down through square leg. In fact, it stopped. In fact, no, it's not. For a moment, uh, one got the feeling that the fielder had it covered. But just trickled to the boundary. In line, Dollar, and just used the pace. Obviously, in a packed offside field. Over the top. One bounce for four. Good ball shot by Moore. Possibly hitting against the angle, but still safe. It's going aerial against the spinners this time. Over mid off. Nice and easy swing. Hits through the line. Swept behind square leg. That's another boundary. This is a good over for Zimbabwe. Nine runs off it. 29 for one. Intentional, but this one will get to the fence. Boundary to end the over. 33 for one. Oh, there he goes. Over the bowler's head. 
and it's gone the distance. Beautifully played, slightly over pitched, and Hamilton Masakadza has smashed that straight back past the bowler. Sliding down leg, that'll be sure how well he's bowled. He attacks the stumps all the time. Really going down the leg side, a little bit of a hike there as well. Short, pulled away easily by Peter Moore. He's a man who's been in amongst the runs as well for Zimbabwe. A couple of half centuries in this series so far. And at this pace, that's meat and drink to any batsman at international level. And he's pushed it over the boundary. PJ Moore given some width. He's looked to hit that over the covers. The man on the cover boundary. Yes, Rashid Khan should have been right at the boundary rope. Because... Uh, Running back, and especially when you're at the rope, it's a difficult task. Good run again by the Zimbabweans, and that's poor fielding. No real pressure on him. The Zimbabweans are going to get home safely. And going down with one hand, Daulat. That man will not be happy. Yes, this is important. Nudging the spinners. This is going to be the key. Spinners from both ends, you got to look for those three or four singles every over. And there you go again, a poor delivery, and that's been his hallmark this whole series. Very short by the leg spinner. Easy put away. Hamilton just rocking back, and he's a powerful man. And that's a full toss and dealt with. Bang! That's a big one. That's six. You're right. The bowler is under pressure. He's not bowling good, struggling with his length. Poor delivery again. Short. And Hamilton doesn't need a second invitation. He's got so much power off the back foot. Clearing the fence with ease. Moves on to 49 with this hit and is looking very dangerous. Yeah, he's one short of 50 and he's looking to get there. It's the end of the over, 17 gone, 85 for one. That's well fielded by the captain, but still couldn't gather the ball cleanly. He's looked good. Just wide of that mid-wicket, but gets to a 50, a very well-made 50. 31st 50 for Hamilton, and it's been at a good rate. Just 43 balls, needs to carry on. Oh, he got a finger to it, he got a hand to it, rather. Oh, these have to be taken. Well, if they keep shelling catches, then they won't get a wicket. That's 100. Zimbabwe gradually just trying to build a good base. Now, this is up. It's good catch. Very good catch. Medwise is broken through. It was a low catch. Look to hit it on the up. I think the lack of pace in Marwai's bowling really did allow him to time it. And has Zimbabwe given the initiative back to Afghanistan? That's the question. Yeah, PJ Moore. It's been a good knock from him. He's gone for 42. Zimbabwe, two down now for 102. And at the fall of that wicket, Richmond Mutambami comes to the crease. Just the 28 matches for Zimbabwe. 490 runs, an average of 21. He'll be looking to get that average little further up the short delivery swung away down to mid wicket a couple of ounces for four that was a poor delivery and helps himself to four he caused a lot of problems for the Zimbabwean batsman when he came and they played in Bulawayo a few months ago this is high gone down towards long off couple of bounces into the boundary 
So he can well afford to play shots like that. This is a good pitch. And that's exactly what he's done. The deterioration has to be... Oh, that would have been a good catch had he taken it. It's gone through extra cover for four. Just the slowness of the pitch allows him to play that shot. Too short and too wide. A little bit of purchase from the wicket. Great diving effort at extra cover to his right. And he's been launched. What a welcome. The Express fast bowler has just been launched over mid on. In his zone, but what a connection. Sails over. Beautiful. Excellent placement. Oh, he's hit it well. And it's gone out. And what a connection it was. Down on one knee. Biggest six of the series. Just sailed away out of the ground. A fantastic hit. There we go again. This time, not very attended, but another boundary. So, just raining boundaries as the 50. Yes, the Afghanistan bowling is just falling apart. And stop quality batting here. Oh, that's a close one. Was the googly. This is what pressure can do. Couple of tight overs. And uh, you see a batsman attempting this sort of a stroke. Oh, they found the gap here. Finally. Finally, they get a boundary. It's been quite a wait. Pick the gap on the leg side. Between deep mid wicket and deep square leg and gets a boundary. This time a big one. Has he handed it over to the fielder? Yes, he has. Deep square leg. Mutambami goes after scoring a very important 40 runs. Yeah, Mutambami, he perishes again to the slot sweep. Went the same way in the last game. He connected it big a little bit earlier and he went out the stadium. Not to be this time. 40 for Richmond, Mutambami. Three down, Zimbabwe, 167 on the board. That's going to be sliding down leg. Big appeal from Hamza. But a good decision, I think, from the umpire. Yeah, sliding down leg. Good decision from the umpire. That's a good shout. That is a good shout. That is a good shout. He's got the man. Yeah, it wasn't Elton we saw when he walked out the other evening. Positive, getting around, and yeah, that's a good shout. Can't complain too much about that. Pitch turned a little bit, but... Uh, that's cannoning into the stumps. The Zimbabwean captain goes, Alton Chigumbura, and an end to a disappointing series with him. For him with the bat, he's gone for three, 176 for four. We've got a uh, well set Hamilton Masakadza, and we've got Sikandar Raza, who's just walked in. Got enough games. He's got runs. He's got the talent. So, Zadran it is. This is swung away by Raza. He picks the gap. A welcome boundary. Zimbabwe needs some urgency to their batting. Oh, swung away. That's gone all the way at six. Tremendous shot. Yes, and that shot speaks a lot about this man. He has muscled that one. He is a strong man, Hamilton Masakatsa. Swinging away on the onside. That's gone for six. Sikandarasa getting into the act. Zimbabwe. The party here. Sikandar Raza. And what an important knock he's playing here. Using the depth of the trees. Further shortening that length. Yeah. This time goes through the covers. That will race away to the boundary. This is turning out to be a big over. 12 runs of the first four balls. To Sikandar Raza. A line where you allow the freedom to free the arms. We'll go for runs. You're much better off with the fine leg. Will it be the hundred? 
he's pushed it into the gap he wants a second he's coming back for the second and uh, well i think that's his hundred yes it is a very very satisfying performance and they're happy the dressing room stands to him and an important knock one that he's going to remember and cherish for a long time this is the decider the final game of the series the lock at two all gotta win this game and out comes Masa Katsa and does it for his team. Taken on the fall now. This is high. This should be out. Should be taken. It is. Now he's checking for the height, I think. Here come the Rasa. Rasa gone for 29. 220. Ball in. That's good bowling. The batsman looked to be moving around the crease, but what Zatran did was he knew exactly where to bowl. He was not in any way affected by the movement of the batsman. Double Nelson on the board. Six down. Waller departs without scoring. Oh! Straight away. Welcome to the crease, John Way. On the helmet. Hope he's all right. Just taking his eyes off. Uh, of that delivery there the error committed on part of John way got to watch the ball yeah, I think it was the shoulder not the helmet uh, this is the over they need to target and that's exactly what they're doing here check away, check great away. use of the feet no real risk in the shot and went a long way useful six at this stage now this is easily done that's a poor shot well after that uh, excellent his head up and in the end uh, presenting a very simple patch, catch the man and cover it's been such a wonderful knock uh, from this man 110 232 for seven and swings it away on the onside it will go all the way to the boundary. It's a poor delivery, second ball to Prima. Him on strike. And he slams it down towards long off on the bounce. Doesn't feel well. Allows the boundary at a critical time. Yes, Mirwa is Ashraf for the fielder there. Pretty much straightforward to him and uh, probably got a little bit surprised with that extra bit of bounce. Oh, that's hit him again. Now, has he bowled him? The bears have been dislodged. Either he's on the hit the stumps, or I, I, my feeling is he hit the stumps. But Jongwe has to go. Let's see what happened. That's all right. That's a legal delivery. No problem there. Oh, yes, he hit the ball, and then the ball went for six. Jongwe, the batsman out, hit wicket. Tablets are drawn for two. It's 244 for eight. Ball him. Oh, in fact, he stopped. Really came down the wicket looking to charge. And was stumped quite easily by Shezad. So Hamza strikes. Matziva looking to go over the top. Really a rather wild swing and an easy stump for Shezad. Another wicket down. Of Zimbabwe, Manziva, the batsman, had to go out for two. 247 for nine. The cream on strike. Short one, it's swung high, should be taken. There is a fieldsman coming in. Oh, takes a good catch. Very good catch indeed. So that's the end of the Zim Zimbabwean innings. 248 all out. Creamer looking to blast. Hamza. 12 uh, his contribution 248 that's what Zimbabwe have got here and that's the look at their scorecard uh, Masakatsu the key here making 110 Mohamed 42 Mutumbami a quick fire 40 and uh, Raza Sikandar Raza very important 29 but the rest of the batting particularly after Raza has been disappointing so that's what Afghanistan need 249 runs and just under five runs and over in their 50 overs. Yeah.